Hi guys. I am going to draw and teach you how to draw a Pablo Picasso face and upper body. All right, we're going to use watercolors, but that's at the end. So what you need, all that's going to be in this video is you'll need a piece of white paper. These are all in the basket. You'll need the idea sheet, some pictures for inspiration. Just look at these, or you can just watch the video because we're gonna talk about them. A white oil pastel and a black oil pastel. All right, everything is in the basket. So first you're gonna look at the pictures that Pablo Picasso painted. And notice how he drew the features. They don't necessarily look like a natural face and the eyes are looking different ways. The mouth is facing forward. The, uh, this eye is forward. This eye is off to the side. This nose is off to the side. And notice how he divides up her clothes into space. This one too. Notice how the one eye is facing forward, mouth to the side, the nose is to the front. And the clothes are divided up into bright colors. Notice the hat also. One more. Same type of thing. So he is a cubist. So you can tell that it's a portrait of a person, but it doesn't quite look realistic. Now, you're going to take your piece of paper, and you are going to, kind of near the top, but not too far, you're just going to draw a line right down the middle. We can always make it longer later if we want to. So this is all you got, just a line. Now we're going to draw the one side that has the face. So you're going to draw the forehead and the nose. I'm going to do mine kind of like this. Yours doesn't have to look like mine. I may end up even modifying mine a little bit and that's okay. Now starting at the bottom of the nose, you are going to draw a chin that goes all the way around to the other side. I don't think I did mine deep enough, but that'll do. See how my line doesn't connect? I'm just gonna draw it a little bit longer and connect it down. Now I'm going to take this on the top and I'm gonna connect her forehead to the top of the line like this. And now I'm just going to do something on the other side. You decide. You could do exactly the same or you can do different. So I'm gonna do a little bit different. I wish I had made mine a little bit bigger, but that's all right. So that is her face. Mine is a woman right now. Now, I think I'm gonna add a hat. So to add a hat, you just do an oval, like part of an oval that ends at her head, and then just put a little zoop right on top. So that's my hat on my Picasso head. Now, I'm gonna look at this handout, and I'm gonna choose a mouth, and I think think I'm going to just draw, it's going to go here below the nose, which with Picasso isn't always true. So I just drew two curved lines with a straight line in between. So that's my mouth. Now I'm going to make the eye, even though the mouth is to the side, I'm going to make the eye facing straight out. So to do that, I'm going to choose one of these straight out eyes. I think I'm going to choose this one here. So I'm going to put a circle. two curved lines over the top and I'm just going to draw some eyelashes because I made my head too small and that is okay. So this is what we have so far. All right, I'm going to actually draw a little dot in the middle for the pupil. All right, now I'm going to want to draw the other side. This eye is facing straight forward, but I'm going to have this eye facing off to the side. To do that, that's like this one here. So I'm going to draw an oval, and it doesn't have to be level. Picasso, nothing has to be level. It's all up to you what you want to do. So I'm going to draw an oval, and then I'm going to draw almost like a curved triangle around it, and then put the pupil in it. If you wanted to add, he puts eyelids in some of his, so you could do that. I hadn't done that, but I'll do it now. So there's my Picasso face. Now, I want to do the neck. So to do the neck, I'm just going to do a U 
right here underneath her chin. So I'm going to do that straight forward. So there's her neck. And then we're going to add the shoulders. I'm going to have the one shoulder come off from the neck and go off the side of the page. And then the other one I'm going to have come down to the bottom of the page. So I'll do that now while I'm looking at it. So to do the shoulders, you just do a curved line. You end up like this. Now, the next step is kind of free draw. You're just going to fill in all of these areas with interesting shapes, organic, geometric, you decide. So I'm just going to put in some interesting shapes all over, kind of like that crazy Picasso shirt that I have. They don't have to be anything in particular. You just divide up that space somehow in an interesting way. Doesn't even have to make sense. Whatever makes you happy, go ahead and divide it up. And then do the same thing with the background. In the background, I'm going to do some organic shapes. I'm not going to fill up the whole space, though. I'm just going to put in some bigger shapes behind her. But for the most part, I'm going to leave it open. Because then I put away my black oil pastel. Now what I want to do is with my white, I'm just going to make some interesting shapes. Some straight lines, some curly lines doesn't really matter. You won't be able to see it now, but when we use the watercolors on it, you will be able to see it. So just keep track of what you're doing. I'm going to just do some curvy shapes. Okay. Now I'm going to put away my white oil pastel. And this is what we end up with. The next step is just straightforward watercolors. If you need the watercolor video, I will put it on here also. You'll watercolor, sign it, hand it in. I hope you had a great time. Thanks for creating Picasso faces with me. Bye.